Hey guys, it's Poe with Let's Get Techie. Uh, I know it's been quite some time since I've uploaded a video. Uh, I did allude to that in one of my last videos before uh, the Christmas holidays. Uh, so not only did I have Christmas going on, but I actually got married. Uh, I am married now, um, so that's fantastic. I've got a ring to prove it. Uh, my beautiful fiance is now my beautiful wife. Um, luckily, since we're done with all of that, we can get back to videos. Uh, also, over the Christmas wedding break, I uh, got quite a few new toys, um, one of which is the laptop that we're going to be reviewing today. Uh, it is called the Leopard Pro from MSI. Uh, it does have the Pascal architecture as far as the GPU. Uh, it is still running a Skylake CPU. Uh, it's a 6700HQ. It's not a slouch. Uh, in fact, I'm, I'm very pleased with how this laptop performs. Uh, let's go ahead and take a closer look. This laptop is part of MSI's GP series. Uh, it is going to be the lowest price. This one does include the Skylake processor, uh, DDR4 RAM, uh, GeForce GTX 1060 3 gigabyte uh, and has the ability to use an NVMe uh, PCIe SSD. As far as I.O. is concerned, uh, on the left side we get a gigabit Ethernet, uh, one 5 gigabit per second USB, an HDMI out, mini display out, uh, another 5 gigabit USB, uh, we have a 10 gigabit USB type C uh, and then a headphone and microphone jack. On the opposite side we see AC input, uh, SD card reader and a USB 2.0. As seen in the B-roll this does include a keyboard designed by SteelSeries. Uh, they're using what MSI calls silver lining print and it does improve visibility uh, with the backlights on. Moving to the inside, we see the Skylake i7-6700HQ, uh, the GTX 1063 gig, uh, and this model came with 8 gigabytes of DDR4 and a 1 terabyte mechanical drive. Overall, I would say that I am extremely happy with the performance of this laptop, especially at the price I paid, uh, which after rebate was only $899. Uh, there is one incredibly weak spot, and that is the mechanical drive. Uh, this is by far the worst mechanical drive I have ever used, uh, but we will be taking care of that in the near future. This laptop does include an M.2 slot that does support NVMe drives. I think you all know where this is going. Two more small gripes with this laptop. Uh, there is quite a bit of screen flex. And then, of course, the dreaded fingerprints. Uh, I think both of those are forgivable at this price point, though. And now, what you all have been waiting for, let's take a look at the benchmarks.
All right, so as you guys saw uh, in the very last slide, I did note that there was some CPU throttling uh, that was only during ADA64 stress testing. I had no throttling issues uh, during normal use. Uh, also on that last slide, I did note that uh, fan noise just wasn't a problem for me. Uh, it was so low that it's not really something I could accurately capture on microphone, so take my word for it, uh, the fan noise is definitely bearable. Overall, I would say MSI definitely knocked it out of the park with this laptop, especially at the price that I was able to get it for. Um, you see a lot of Pascal laptops at the upper $1,200 range. Um, uh, they can go much higher than that. Uh, but considering that the 1050 Ti, the 1050 laptops are coming out and their base price is set to start around $799 and I spent just under $900 and got a 3 gig 1060. Now, ideally I would have preferred to have the 6 gig, uh, but I was not going to spend another $150, $200 just to get 3 more gigabytes of VRAM. Um, for what I'm personally going to be using it for, it's not going to make that much of a difference for me. Uh, you may want to look into the 6 gig version, depending on what you, what you want to use it for. Um, overall, I'm super happy with how it performs. Uh, again, going back to that one area that I'm unhappy with, that is the mechanical drive. Uh, you could see in some of the benchmarks that it just it completely fell on its face. And I could totally see that in boot times, um, not just how long it took to boot, but how long it would take before it was actually usable on the desktop. You would spend a good four or five minutes before you could even launch programs or do anything. Um, so that brings me to part two of this video. Um, very soon I will be upgrading the laptop. Technically I've already done it. but. For the sake of video, very soon I'll be upgrading the laptop. We're going to do another 8 gigs of RAM, and I'm going to install an NVMe PCIe SSD. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to that. Again, I've already done it. You know what I'm saying. And that brings us to the end of our video. Um, if you liked it, leave us a like. Uh, follow us on social media. Uh, get subscribed if you're not subscribed. Uh, social media links will be in the description. Let me know what you want to see in the future. Um, like I had talked about in the beginning of the video, I did get quite a few new toys. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see like a, a tour of the office. Uh, maybe show you guys what I'm using to shoot, uh, the computer that I'm using. Uh, if that's something you want to see, let me know. Um, I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you in the next one.